The name of this beer means an Indonesian method of tie-dyeing. Not that I've ever bought any tie-dye clothes. It's a beer a clock and from the Salt Beer Factory in Salt Air, Yorkshire, we have a can of their ECAT double dry hopped double IPA coming in at 8%. What a mouthful, eh? Um, this has appeared in Tesco's at three quid a can. Um, some people are actually raving about this. I've, I've not watched any reviews on it yet. Um, but on Instagram and that, people are raving about this beer. So, without further ado, let's let's crack this open and let's give it a try. Now, the Salt Beer Factory, believe it or not, they've only been around for sort of less than 18 months, um, believe it or not. Um, so, they're fairly new on the scene. So I'm interested as to what this has to offer. It's just fitting, fitting into the glass. Well, first impressions. Looks a bit like a pea super, doesn't it? <laughs> the old, old saying that they say, don't they, when, when you've got water. And it's all uh, coloured up with, you know, when, when water's coloured, they always call it a pea soup. Um, yeah, it's, it's very, very hazy. It's, uh, it's slightly golden. It's haziness. Um, it's got a, a next to nothing head on it, believe it or not. Um, that goes to show there ain't a lot of carbonation in this. I can't see much carbonation in this beer. So let's get the aromas. Oh my God. This is just screaming out. Tropical fruits, umbongo like I always say. Citrus hop, or, you know, it is. It is like a juice bomb. It really is like a juice bomb. It is unbelievable. Yeah, you know, I'm getting lychees, mangoes, passion fruit, grapefruit, um, limes, oranges, <laughs> lemons. <laughs> oh, God. It really, really does smell nice. Unbelievable. Let's let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Let's have another sip. Oh my word. It's unbelievable. There's a sweetness here. A sweetness of all these fruits. It's so smooth. You can't find this 8% ABV in it either. It's well hidden.
I'm getting no, no alcohol presence whatsoever from this beer. And it's 8%. Yeah, okay. It hasn't got that carbonation to push it round your mouth and to shoot them flavours, dance them flavours over your tongue and that sort of thing. Like a beer, like a normal beer would. But it makes up for that because it is so juicy. It is so juicy, it doesn't need the carbonation. It just sits on your tongue, it moulds into the roof of your mouth, your teeth, your gums. It's, it's like drinking a fruit juice, believe it or not. Three hops in this, the Amarillo, the Mosaic, and the Citra. Unbelievable beer when you think it's just three hops in this. You get this, this creaminess, which is starting to kick in now. I've gone like through half a, half a glass. Um, which is obviously the oats, the wheat malts that are in there. Um, I think they use the Cara, the Cara um, malts in this and the pale ale malts. And they've got some oats and some wheat in there. Um, yeah, it's... It's got that creaminess of a when you lick an ice cream. If you was to have like a um, a tropical fruit ice cream, you know, if you went to one of these ice cream parlours and, and picked the tropical fruit one and had, if you were to lick that, this has the same sort of flavour and the same sort of experience on your tongue as a lick of a tropical fruit ice cream. It's, it's really, really creamy beer, this is. Is this the best one in the Tesco range so far? That's a, that's, 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 that's a hard one because some of these beer reviewers reckon that this is the best beer in the, in the new Tesco range. I'm actually going to say this is this is difficult. Um, what do I commit to here? The other day I put I put my neck on the line and I said that Ripe Times by Magic by Magic Rock and, and the Salt Beer, Beer Factory, believe it or not, um, was the best beer in, in, in the in the Tesco range. This draws with it. And the reason I'm saying it, is it draws with it is because some people are, n are gonna not like the fact that this beer hasn't got like a lot of carbonation to it. It's got practically zero carbonation. It's, it's not heavily carbonated at all. Um, and some people won't like this beer because of it. You know, don't be wrong. You know, there is car you can see there's carbonation there, but there's not an abundance of it at all. Um, and 
and what you can get out of it disappears rather quickly. Whereas the ripe times had a better carbonation. Um, and that's why I can't split the two. They're both very, very good beers in their own on their own. Um, I think the last Tesco batch was was a bit of a letdown, if I'm if I'm honest to say. Um, too many um, Brewdog collaborations that. Unfortunately, Brewdog. Now they've got this name of Brewdog, you know, and they can. It's one of them things that can produce any old, any old thing now. There, and people are gonna, are gonna jump up and uh, shout from the rooftops and oh, Brewdog, Brewdog, got to buy it, got to buy it, got to buy it. Right, and I think that has sort of put a few people off. The craft beer range, or or made a few people sort of think, oh, the craft new craft beer range in in um, Tesco's. Or oh, hope it ain't crap like the last lot they dealt up. Um, but every beer in this batch I've, I've reviewed so far is is a good beer, a good beer, a great beer. Um, some of them might not be beers that you you'd want to drink on their own. Some of them, you know, like I've said, are, are beers to be drunk with a meal, to have something to eat with. Um, this one here, if you want something that's less gassy, loads of flavour, packed full of juiciness and fruits, and this is the beer for you. If you want something with, with a bit more carbonation, then I'd go with ripe times. And when you think about it, you know, both these both these beers, the the, the, the salt beer factory is involved with. So, you know, you're if if you don't like this one and like the other one, you're not doing the salt beer factory any injustice, if you know what I mean. Um Yeah, a great beer. Would I buy it again? Yes I will. Um but unfortunately I cannot split this and ripe times. I cannot split the two. Um, from what I've had so far out of Tesco range, this and ripe times are the best. And they're equal. Equal in their own right. So look, get down to Tesco's, grab a can of this. You can't miss it on the shelf. Look, you can't miss that on the shelf, can you? Three quid a pop. Um, it's a great beer. Get yourself a can, try it, see what you think, leave a comment below. Give us a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. <coughs> TT says, never play with matches. Fireworks and always drink responsibly.